To write the formula for nickel three oxide, we first write the element symbols. So nickel, that's N I, and then oxide, that's the oxygen atom, O. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. That means we have to think about ionic charge when we write the formula. Nickel oxide, nickel three oxide, that's a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus. It's not an ion. It doesn't say ion after it. Because of that, all the charges, they'll add up to zero. We have a little bit of help here. Nickel's a transition metal, but it tells us here we have this ionic charge of three plus. On the periodic table, if you look oxygen up, it's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It'll always have a two minus charge. So we need to get this to all add up to zero. There's a little trick called the crisscross method we can use that'll help us. We could take the two, move it down here, and the three over here. When we do that, we end up with Ni2O3. That's the formula for nickel three oxide. Let's check our work though. We said the nickel, that was three plus, and oxygen's always two minus. Three times two minus, that gives us a six minus. Two times three plus, that gives us a six plus. Six plus, six minus, that adds up to zero. So this is the formula for nickel three oxide, Ni2O3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.